In today's video, I'm reviewing a 2010 Honda CRV. The Honda CRV was first introduced to market in 1995 and is now in its fifth generation. This third generation model was produced from 2007 to 2012, seeing a minor refresh for the 2010 model year. The Honda CRV has got a really great exterior style to it. I really like what Honda did with this vehicle and the refresh that we saw in 2010 definitely gave it a little bit more modern upscale look than earlier versions of the CRV. Overall, I think one of the really great things about the CRV is that it's an exterior design that's well liked among all generations. You see young people driving CRVs and you see old people driving CRVs and they really found uh, kind of a design that took elements that all generations will like. It's got a sporty look to it, but it's also got a slightly upscale look to it that really kind of transcends those generations and makes it a really popular vehicle choice uh, for any individual. There are a few design cues on the CRV that are slightly unique uh, to this vehicle. Uh, one of those main details is these rear tail lights that span the full height of the vehicle. Of course, they're functional from a safety standpoint because they give you a little bit better visibility in dark conditions, but they also just give it um, a unique look. And of course, the CRV has just got a nice sloping look to it in general. You look at the uh, shape of these rear windows, how they kind of slope down at the back. Some of the plastic body molding along the bottom of the doors gives it a little bit more of a rugged look and it really just offers a nice overall design. And yet at the same time, while it's got some nice styling cues to it, there's nothing too dramatic or over the top about it. And so overall, it's still a pretty conservative style, pretty simple, pretty plain that can kind of blend in, but still looks nice at the same time. I have always thought that the front grille on the CRV is a little bit odd. I feel like this lower portion right here uh, seems like something's missing there. It almost would look better if the bumper just filled in that whole gap. But it does give the vehicle a unique look. The CRV in general has kind of always been a little bit of a taller, skinnier look to it, but when they came out with the third generation model, that changed a little bit. It was a little bit boxier, skinnier, taller in the prior generation. When they came out with the third generation model, they kind of widened the vehicle a little bit, kind of pushed down that roof line, still maintaining a little bit of that character of the first and second generation models, but giving it just a little bit more of an ordinary look. It kind of blends in a little more with other smaller crossovers on the market. Some people that are adamant that the first and second generation CRVs had more character and looked nicer. Personally, I like what they did with the third generation model. I think it really cleaned things up. And honestly, I think that the third generation model is the best looking of the CRVs. I'm not as much a fan of the newer ones. I think the styling's a little bit awkward. You'll see that with the XL model, we've got a sunroof. Otherwise, it's going to be essentially the same as other trim packages. Also comes with a nicer set of stock wheels. Jumping inside the CRV, you'll see it's got a pretty nice interior with a nice layout, good choice of materials and color selection. This is the EXL model, so it's got leather seats and a sunroof. As far as options and features, we've got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, traction control power seats with lumbar support. On the steering wheel, we have controls for audio and cruise control. You also notice that the XL model has a leather wrapped steering wheel. In the center dash, we've got AM FM radio with a six disc CD player, climate control that is dual zone for driver and front passenger, as well as heated seats for driver and front passenger. Down below, got some little cubbies there and a 12 volt outlet. In the center console, small compartment here, two cup holders, and then a nice large center console space here. Over on the passenger side, we've got standard glove box, and then another compartment here. Up top, got that sunroof, which is power. It's both tilt and sliding. 
And we've got this little compartment, which has a built-in rear view mirror for passengers, really handy if you have kids. And then it also has the ability to store your sunglasses. So handy little feature there. Coming back to the second row, you'll see we've got lots of leg room and headroom. Give you a quick view up to the front. Also didn't note that we've got armrests for both the driver and passenger here in the middle. Got center folding armrest with cup holders. Another cool feature on the CRV is that these seats all fold down. So you can get the center down, get two by four or other larger long objects through the middle there and still use the passenger and driver side. Or if you need more capacity, you can fold down this driver's seat or passenger side. And then also have the ability to pull this little strap here and fold that seat up, giving you even further uh, capacity in the back. You can likewise do that with the center and passenger side. And then things go back into place quite easily. So a very simple, easy to use system here. And jumping around to the back of the CRV, this is one of the areas where the CRV really uh, impresses. It's got a lot of cargo capacity, especially for a compact SUV. I review a lot of vehicles and most mid-size SUVs don't even have this much cargo capacity. So a very functional space. The floor sits really low in the CRV, so it really increases the space in the vertical direction. So very handy in that sense. And then Honda's also got this shelving system. The shelf's not in right now, but connects the shelf across the middle here. Really organizes the space and makes it a lot more functional than just kind of piling things all the way to the roof. So really great system there. Also have a 12 volt outlet here on the driver's side. And then of course the ability to fold down that back row seat increases cargo capacity even further. Another thing I didn't mention is that those seats can slide forward and backwards. So you can see this little gap here. If you need to increase that space in the back just a little bit, under this back seat, there's a little bar that we can pull up on and fold the seat or slide it forward and backwards. So handy little feature there. But in general, really impressive the amount of cargo capacity that they fit into this compact SUV. The CRV is available in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And under the hood, you're gonna find a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder rated at 166 horsepower and paired to a five speed automatic transmission. The EPA rating is 20 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway with a one mile per gallon bump on highway driving in the front wheel drive configuration. The CRV is offered in four different trim packages. This, of course, is the top of the line EXL model, but with the base LX model, back in 2010, you could get into a CRV for just $21,000. So, a really good value for $21,000, you're getting a vehicle that's very attractive, uh, both on the exterior and interior. It's very spacious, pretty decent fuel economy, and then very capable in snow and ice, especially if you've got that all wheel drive system. Definitely a good value. Now from a driving standpoint, the CRV is also very good. And that's primarily because it looks like an SUV. It's got the cargo capacity of an SUV. You got the headroom of an SUV, but this is really a car in its nature. Um, it's not really gonna be very capable when it comes to true off-roading. You could definitely take it down the occasional gravel road. It's gonna perform okay in deeper snow, but it's really more of a car, in a, car than an SUV. And the trade-off with that is that you end up with a vehicle that drives more like a car. So sure, it's not capable off-road, but it's got really great on-road uh, mannerisms. It's very quiet, it's very smooth, it's very comfortable, and it just drives very well. It's a really nice place to be. If you don't really need an SUV for driving off-road, but you want something that looks like an SUV, the CRV is going to be a really good option for that. Um, I'd say that the one critique that I've got for the CRV from a driving standpoint is that the four cylinder engine definitely feels underpowered. The trade off for that is you're still getting pretty decent fuel economy. So for 2010, getting an SUV that gets 26 miles per gallon on the highway is pretty impressive. Um, the trade off is that that engine's pretty underpowered. And so when you're accelerating onto highway, you're driving over a mountain pass, or just accelerating hard in general, the vehicle is going to work really hard and it's not going to be that quick. Um, beyond that, those situations where you're really pushing the vehicle to the limit, the CRV is perfectly capable. Uh, just for your ordinary driving around town, it doesn't feel like the engine's working that hard. And it's also very quiet, very uh, smooth transmission, and uh, pretty well paired to the vehicle for those day-to-day -day situations. 
Uh, we're coming up on the highway right now, so we'll give you a chance to kind of see what it looks like when it's put under a little pressure, trying to accelerate up to highway speeds. All right, so we got a clearing in the traffic here, so we'll go ahead and accelerate a little bit on the harder side. So you'll see it's pretty quick to rev up, not that quick. So right now I'm not pushing it all the way to the limit because I don't want to abuse the vehicle. We just hit 50 miles an hour. So definitely on the slower side in that standpoint, you can hear it working pretty hard. It's pretty quick to rev up. But beyond that, once you get up to speed, the engine is perfectly capable for the vehicle. So that's the trade-off that you get. They could have put a more powerful engine in the vehicle. The trade-off would be that fuel economy. So that's a review of the third generation of the Honda CRV. Overall, a really nice vehicle that offers a really great balance. And it's definitely a good option to consider if you're looking to get into a compact SUV. With the CRV, you get a vehicle that's got really nice exterior styling. Also a nice interior, especially with this EXL trim package. It's very spacious, it gets great fuel economy, and it's capable in snow and ice. Really makes it a great all around vehicle. And of course, the fact that it's a Honda means that you get to bank on Honda's great reputation for long term reliability and durability. If you have any comments or questions on the CRV, leave them in the section below. For more car reviews, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.